The Batman game series is notorious for its extremely difficult combat and tedious trophy grinds. Now I will be lying to you all if I said this trophy was a piece of cake because it was quite the opposite. It brought me past my breaking point and I ended up giving up on it for a month when I was right at the very end of the grind with only four trophies left. But before that, we need to go back a little to July 5th, over one month ago where I began this treacherous challenge. Also, I will be starting to stream all my platinum trophy videos over on the second channel. So if you want to see me rage and struggle through these more in depth, then make sure to drop a sub over there. The Batman Arkham Knight Platinum Trophy consists of 65 trophies with an average completion rate of 0.6% even though 99% of men consider themselves Batman. I, however, only fight your mother off of me in bed. I leave the crime fighting to Travis Scott because he's the only true Batman out here. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, we begin this long and tedious grind by completing the story and getting all the trophies relating to that and some that come naturally within combat and collectibles throughout. Now, I have never once played a Batman game, so I was kind of confused with the story at first, but apparently Joker is dead and we see him get burned alive like a G. Yeah, that's the Joker. I can tell by his hairline. The main villain of this game is Scarecrow, but before we see his origin story, I noticed a missing poster next to this MILF bartender and it reminded me of something very personal in my life. Henry Adams is missing? Dude, hold up. I stole a cat poster that was up for a year by my house. After confessing to my recent criminal activity in real life, we see Scarecrow take over the entire restaurant by poisoning the people there and sending them into a frenzy attacking each other. Dude, what the? Bro, that is disgusting. Oh my gosh. So it was basically like Target on Black Friday, but instead of stay-at-home moms fighting over half-off panties, it's grown men fighting over nothing. Yep. I'm... I'm fine. He gives us a little PSA about his deadly chlamydia strain he just unleashed onto us to give us a heads up about what we can expect to happen to our wieners in the near future. I even started to die in real life. <coughs> Dying. Riots begin to happen everywhere, and it's officially time for Batman to put on his latex again and shrink his peener one more time for the good old days. This is just a documentary of my life after dark. This is just what I do in my free time. Our first mission is to go save a poor police officer who is definitely not getting paid enough for this job. All right, all right, all right. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool combat. I'm just not really sure what the f I'm doing. Later. <laughs> oh my. We saved cop, cop number one. The Batmobile becomes available shortly after, and I nutted in my pants to get a trophy as it arrived and I entered the glorious hole. Batmobile. Oh, it's so sexy. That's pretty sick. After interrogating a poor militia man without violating the Geneva Conventions, Vin Diesel from Wish, I don't care what you say anyway, we find out where Scarecrow's supposed safe house is, and I go investigate it like a true crime fighter. For whatever reason, the game didn't work, and I couldn't do the objective. I even got stuck in the ceiling, which isn't a great start to the game since it's only been 20 minutes. Bro, I done broke the game already. What the hell? Dude, what is going- I, Did I actually just break the game already? Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Did I just seriously get stuck already? Really, dude? The game is fun. I restart a checkpoint and it worked fine the second time. We see Poison Ivy take out the last guard and lord have mercy is she a baddie. Oh, he's already dead. Okay. So is this like my new girl or something? You know, Catwoman? Who the f*** knows where she's at? We take Poison Ivy with us to throw her in the slammer and let prison do what it does best. Bad, 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 Batman about to have an itch where he don't want one. <laughs> what do you mean by that? But before we get there, we get to use the Batmobile combat systems and basically play World of Tanks while we are in Gotham City. Just gonna blow them all up one by one. You know how it be. Poison Ivy gets thrown in jail, and we get a reward for securing the Forbidden Ussy. Another trophy. I got introduced to a few side quests, so I jerked off for a few minutes and did some of that fun. What do you mean, no subject detective? He's fing right there, idiot. We then used our secret hideout to again try and find Scarecrow, but I have a feeling it will never be that easy since we basically just play hide and seek with him the entire game. Much like what me and my dad have been doing for 18 years. Another hideout is open for us to shut down, and this is where my villain origin story begins. For whatever reason, I just don't understand this game's combat system, and I still don't to this day. I honestly believe it has some of the weirdest combat out of any game I have yet to play. My big brain just simply can't comprehend the moves in it. Bro, I'm, I'm fucking lost, dude. I'm so lost in how you kill people. I really don't understand this shit. Is he dead or not, bro? Holy sh**. He's not even dead? I, I'm, dude, I'm lost. What is going on? Is he dead or not? What the f is happening right now? The game felt so bad, it threw me into a combat tutorial, and I punched all my anger out into the NPCs. I then did a bunch of tutorial AR challenges to try and get better acclimated to the game's combat. It didn't help. This game might have the most confusing way, like, direction or controls. But after this mess, we got both our radio towers on, and we can now see extra big radio frequencies. 
trophy, baby, which help us pinpoint Scarecrow's hideouts. Surprisingly, it's at a chemical factory, which actually makes a lot of sense, seeing as he just unleashed a ton of chemicals, which he had to get from somewhere. I guess Batman sort of fell off with old age, much like the pretty girl in high school did. On the way into the chemical factory, we see the other main villain of the game, the Arkham Knight. Get it? Because that's like the name of the game and stuff, yeah. <laughs> So he basically blows up everything and makes our job of getting in very hard. Oh no. If only I had a grapple to just move. I'm just standing there like a chat. But we do eventually, and our job is to rescue the missing workers within who made the chemicals for Scarecrow, so we can figure out a cure in the future. This sounds a lot easier than it was, but I got all of them, and on our way out, we have a massive tank battle. Yo, oh, hey guys. Oh, he's dead, okay. Good fight. After delivering the workers with Amazon Prime two-day free shipping, we get another trophy. Scarecrow isn't a very happy lad with us after we strolled in and saved everyone, so he decides to try and blow up the entire factory, which would devastate all of Gotham, since it's not a huge city, to be honest. I bet Gaylord, Michigan has more square feet. We reach the control room, and I have to carefully slip in the cooling mechanisms without going too fast because it would hurt. Where I put this on? Huh? Real nice and slow there, Bruce. Real nice and slow, just push it in there. Yes! However, we are too slow and the Joker comes back to life somehow and shoots us in the head. What? Since Batman is dead, we take a little stroll throughout the Bat facilities with Gordon, accomplishing nothing much like his career without Batman. Apparently, Batman didn't die, and he's just a goddamn schizophrenic, because he's fine now, and we can all relate to the voices in our heads with him. See guys, even rich people have problems. In fact, I'd say Batman has lots of them, seeing as he can quite literally see the voices in his head now. We still have to escape from Ace Chemicals, however, since we failed, and we drive a respectable speed out. Yep, just ignore the crashing and explosions, and it's like a beautiful drive. A little bit later, Gordon's daughter gets stolen, and she was sort of Batman's tech whiz that has been helping us out and giving us missions all game. What if she didn't get taken and we're just schizophrenic? Before we can save Barbara, we have to regain control of Mercy Bridge so we can go over to a different island. Trophy baby, let's go. After that, I got into yet again another tank fight and received a trophy for getting 50 critical hits on them. Hey, I got a trophy. For what? I don't know. Nice. Which is barely a challenge because of how much tank combat is in this godforsaken game. If you thought we actually got to go play as Batman again, you're wrong. We do a Need for Speed police chase around the city in a circle until we finally stop an APC we're after and interrogate a driver, which was so important apparently it yielded us a trophy. Oh, still killed him. Okay, that's cool. Batman doesn't kill my ass. The story takes a little swerve away from saving the crippled girl and stopping all the big boy villains. So instead, we go to harass Penguin and his fat ass needs some sunlight because goddamn is that boy white as my asshole. Hey, it is a cold world. <laughs> A bunch of enemies and important info is on these giant blimps, so we fly onto it and break into it easily. However, our mind is also broken easily because Batman has a giant schizophrenia episode and starts to see multiple Jokers again. Now these people aren't real. It's all in my mind. It's all in my mind, but it feels so real. Joker, what are you doing to me? Oh, they're all Joker now. No, it's definitely in my mind. Bro, it's tripping, dude. Oh, struggle. Sorry. I almost just gave up. Like the emo girl did. Our boy is really going through it, but we end up with a trophy in the end, so it's all good. After his mental episode, we continue exploring the blimps for quite some time since I was confused as to where I am and what was going on around me. I felt a lot like being left in the middle of Walmart as a kid and trying to find where my mommy went. Joker leads us into a room with Scarecrow and we have another mental crisis. This time it's a lot worse and Scarecrow is really feeling good about his plan because we are mentally fading away fast. His plan is to make us lose our minds so much that we start to kill people. I still can't believe after all these years of Batman crime fighting, not once he hasn't broke someone's neck and they died, because that's honestly insane if you really think about it. Scarecrow was close to making us overdose, but Batman being the chat he is just ignores the pain and chemicals and isn't affected, which Scarecrow was very shocked by and just leaves out of fear. Ironic. Hey, a trophy, look at that. That was the most confusing mission in the world and I'm still lost. So is, am I- <laughs> As we are on the ground again, we get introduced to a new version of enemy tanks. They got the laser removal DLC upgrade, and we have to get behind them in order to insert our seed. And by seed, I mean missile, and we blow them all up. Apparently this game is like 70% all using the damn Batman tank, because we use it for like an hour straight to free Poison Ivy's tree from underground, so she can help us heal the city and use the Cloudburst countermeasures. Where's it at? I don't even know where it's at, bro. I don't hate using the tank all the time, but it does get annoying after a while. Like, you can't just let me not see Batman's giant bulge, man. I need that in my life. You a sexy boy, aren't you, Batman? Stop the cap. <laughs> Right before we finish this mission, we do get to have a little combat section, though, so we can be relieved of all our pent-up stress. We then have to destroy Arkham Knight's drones on Founders Island so we can save the city a little bit more. Oh, what the f*** is going on? What am I doing right now? This mission is so stupid. Robin and me team up finally and beat the balls out of a bunch of men who are trying to cosplay in all red. Low-key, a mid-fashion choice. 
Black is obviously where it's at. It goes with everything. Hey, buddy, why don't you go fight Robin? He loves little boys just like you. Woohoo. A little bit later, I finally got 20 fear takedowns for a miscellaneous combat trophy. All the Joker spin-off characters got out of containment, so we had to go rein them all back in since they think they got something special about them. That hairline, I just can't get over it, man. That hairline, it's so bad. Like, that's almost so bad, it's, like, intentional. Like, he intentionally took a razor and shaved it like that, because there's no way that is real. We even get to tackle Harley to the ground and almost get a free nip slip. Oh, alright. Damn. After capturing everyone, Batman has a flashback to his old Robin who got tortured by Joker. That's the real Robin. I don't know who the hell the other guy is, the bald one. I don't know. And then decides to trap current Robin in a prison cell so he doesn't suffer the same fate. There's another stupid tank mission and we just have to defend a place while a bunch of them come after us. Much later, we have a boss fight with the Arkham Knight and it's actually super hard because he has an extremely good tank and is very fast. Almost like his name is Jamal. Dude, like this is insane. I literally have nowhere to maneuver. I don't have any time to shoot him. The only time I get to shoot him is when I'm doing this, but then I gotta avoid his fucking missiles and his bombs everywhere. We eventually beat him. He's on fire. There we go. I'm about to say, dude, like, this is ridiculous. And are about to reveal his identity. But it's just the Joker again, and we have another mental episode. But god damn, we need to find some meds or something because this is getting ridiculous. I got a combat trophy for using gadgets, and then we have another tank fight with the Ark of Night. But this time, it is all underground in giant tunnels that are here for some reason that I don't know. Where are the explosives at? I'm lost, dude. I don't know why he wasn't chasing me the whole time. Bro, literally this guy just spun out, dude. Who is this guy, dude? I still have no idea who Arkham Knight is. He seems to know us on a personal level, though. So maybe it's like an ex-girlfriend, possibly. That would be a plot twist. Imagine it's Catwoman. We eventually beat him and get a trophy for it. But he isn't gone because we yet again have to fight him. And this time it's a really annoying stealth mission where we have to hide until we can get behind him and just pop up to punch him right in the noggin. He did nothing. Damn. After beating him, we find out the Arkham Knight's identity, and it's actually Batman's old Robin, who he left and forgot about, as he was being tortured by the Joker for a very long time. Honestly, that's a badass villain origin story. We have a meet and greet with Scarecrow, and he throws Barbara off the building, but I catch her, and she pissed herself on me. Once getting her in the Batmobile, we get another trophy pop, and then have to take her back to GCPD. In the second to last mission, we basically just fight a ton of people for a super long time because the war for Gotham is really turning up. What is he doing? What the fuck is he doing? I'm just gonna kill myself. Oh, and, oh yeah, I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> just kill me, I don't even care. Go without that and that? I did that three times in the last game. It's a joke, dude, I swear. I never played a game with such shit controls. It blows my mind. It blows my mind how this game can even have that as anything. After getting that trophy, we reach the end of the story, and Scarecrow is exposing us to the world, letting everyone know that Bruce Wayne is Batman. He even put more chemicals into us to try and make us turn evil live on stream. But it didn't work, and we didn't fall for the bridge like PewDiePie did. After a giant schizophrenic episode, Batman overcomes the Joker and finally puts him in jail. In his mind. <laughs> But Scarecrow still has us all chained up, and our ex-enemy, Arkham Knight, fights for the good team again, saving us and bringing everything full circle. Hey, my man. Then we use Scarecrow's chemicals against him in a beautiful ending to a very in-depth and complex story, which confused the autism right out of me. <laughs> and with the story complete, now I get to go back and do every collectible and combat challenge, which is so much more pain than I signed up for. I began the endgame phase by capturing a homeless man and throwing him in jail for being such a goddamn failure. Then I drifted my car around and practiced some dirty tricks on Poison Ivy so I can be ready when Catwoman returns from vacation. I captured this Firefly villain guy who was lighting the whole goddamn city on fire like it's 9-11 all over again. And finally captured Penguin who was a notorious villain in the Batman universe. And then I decided to begin the horrendous grind of Riddler trophies, which is basically the most annoying thing in each of these Batman game Platinums, as I have found out during my extensive research. There is just a ridiculous amount of them and it takes so long to do it, it's unreal. Before the really long grind of collectibles, we first have to free Catwoman from being held captive with a bomb collar on. Each time we get enough riddles done, she gets a key to unlock it a little bit more and we also get a trophy each time. After that, I then went and destroyed all the militia watchtowers around Gotham, which took me a pretty long time, and I spent like two hours without getting a single trophy trying to do this. I also defused all the bombs in Gotham, which would be super easy if it didn't alert a ton of enemies right after doing it each and every time. And the next one on the hit list was to shut down all the militia checkpoints, which are the different spots where the militia is all protected by big walls, so you can't just use the Batmobile to easily win each fight. At this point, I had done all the objectives I needed to fight Deathstroke, and after beating him, we take him back to GCPD and lock him up for good. 
Then I did a very creepy side quest involving Pig Pike or something. A psychotic villain who kidnaps people and tries to dissect them and make them into perfection, as he calls it. This dude might be the only legitimate scary part of this game, and it was a lot of fun doing this mission. Once again, locking him up in GCPD to get a trophy. A switch in pace is needed by now, and I end up fighting the Bruce Wayne doppelganger who had poor Lucius at gunpoint. I don't want to say it, but this felt racially motivated since he didn't go visit Alfred first. A wannabe Batman shows up and is involved in some holy religion kinkiness behind the scene thing. In fact, he had been studying our every move to master our combat style and is possessed by bad spirits or something. I honestly, I mean, yeah. But we calm him down and he doesn't end up killing us even though he totally could. I took a break from side quests to do a random task of gliding 400 meters while less than 20 meters off the ground. It took me a few tries and some brain aneurysms, but I did it and was pleased with my results. I returned to the side quests and did the one where you have to save all the firefighters. At first it felt like the fire department was just getting super unlucky or they didn't know how to defend themselves because the sheer amount of them getting kidnapped was crazy. But we found out at the end of the missions that the lead firefighter guy sold them all out to Scarecrow and we had to lock him up for his backstabbing. Like usually it's cops that are corrupted. I would never expect this out of a firefighter, especially after watching the King of Staten Island. I did a random tank combat objective and captured Two-Face putting his acne breakout ass face away from the poor children so they don't get any more prolonged PTSD. And I even captured another homeless man and stopped him from shoving frozen yogurt up his asshole in the middle of a preschool parking lot. Now we are fighting crime. I finally destroyed every single tank everywhere and it only took me like 40 hours at this point. I know I've been zooming through these trophies as of right now, but in reality this video would be like an hour long if I didn't. I went through a lot more agony than I am showing because I can't relive it all again. I've been touched in places I can't even explain anymore. And finally, I had gone through every single side quest, leaving me with only the Riddler trophies to find now. Lord have mercy, I was not going to sit here for another day playing this game. So I made sure to look up every single one I didn't have, and I even looked up the entire Riddler boss fight so I could make sure I didn't die over and over and lose my mind even more. I have played so much Batman at this point, I'm not even sure if I want to take up that life of crime fighting anymore. I have low-key been scarred. No wonder Batman was recovering schizophrenic this whole game. I would be too. With all the side quests done, I felt like I had beaten the game, like, fully. But but sadly, I wasn't even close. I had numerous different combat trophies left and I suck at the combat in this game. I will admit right now in front of all of you that I'm just bad. This game just really isn't for me, and when I don't enjoy a game's movement and control layout, it really hinders how good I can be at it. And with Batman, it was no exception, because I still don't understand what the hell half the buttons do, and how the combat streaks work. But I tried to get as many trophies as I could with a different combat, and I got super close to the Platinum. I could have went back and actually finished the game, and then did New Game Plus, and if I did, I would have only been 4 trophies away. But I simply couldn't stand this game anymore. So I stopped playing it for a month, leaving it nearly done, like the treehouse your dad promised he would build for you 5 years ago. And it sat in my library, as I went off and platinumed numerous other games. Only for me to return to it a few days ago and finally not get the platinum. Fuck this game.